Hey, this is Metal Mike, and welcome to the newest Metal for Life column. This month's column is called When Guitar Riffs Rule the World. That's right, I said it. I want to take you guys back to the time when bands like Van Halen and Priest and Scorpions were tearing up killer records out that had just amazing heavy metal guitar playing Nirvana, right? And a lot of heavy metal today is, is more based upon rhythms and rhythmic with less harmonic movement uh, of, of, of chords, of sounds, right? Um, but when we talk about some of the bands of when guitarists ruled the world, we had awesome harmonic possibilities and stuff was just melodic and, and most importantly, great fun to play. So I prepared three uh, killer riffs for you so you could jam out and, and get ready for this, man. Check this out. <laughs> All right, so let me show you what I'm doing in this example. Okay, the cool thing is we're going to have a bunch of different harmonically changing chords on top of a, a note on a D string, right? Open D note, as a matter of fact. It's going to be very cool because you're going to have all these different harmonic possibilities happening over a driving rhythm, right? Which is very cool uh, to listen to. And the beginning of this section, I basically think of it as a D chord with changing notes in it. This is sort of like the, the heavy metal explanation in my mind, how I think of it. Right, so it's sort of like a, I think of a D chord with notes that change. We have an open, a, uh, a second fret, and a third fret on strings three. Right, it's got a really cool, nice, bright sound. And if you get just the right guitar tone, it really makes this kind of movement pop melodically, right? So this is what it is. And I simply, after this, move into an F power chord. As you can see, I, I create some tension. So you have a straight up F power chord. And I move back my pinky and this is, this is basically like a C chord over an F note in the bottom. So you have like a movement of basically like an F to a C. But it's not as clear to the ear. So instead of playing like stocky power chords, you know, F and C, I'm, I'm not implying I'm basically playing it, but it's not as clear as a choppy, blocky guitar power chord. <laughs> And the next section moves. There's a quicker movement to it, and you're going to see that I'm doing a, um, a G power chord into almost like a Barca de Munich type of tradition movement. <laughs> And I end that F again with the C now. So I'm going from the F to C. I really didn't think of this when I was writing it, but this is how the chords go. Right, so 
Right, so these two parts continue going back and forth, and that's the way it's played. All right, so one thing I want to definitely mention to you is on the second part of, of this guitar riff is that when you have these sliding chords, you have them kind of open, but the the continuing continuing 16 note rhythm on the open string is muted, right? So you have this difference of EQ. Right, so you want to hear that sort of blistering ta da ta da and you want to also hear the bottom note chugging along, right? Just sort of like unwavering. It's like you hear it nice and muted, supporting that movement of the chord. <laughs> So I do a little rhythm, and when I play this F, I sort of do like a gallop rhythm right on the F chord. So I, I don't play the bottom A anymore, I just go... Going back to the C. Okay, for this next riff, I'm going to channel little El Scorpianos, the Scorpions for you. And I have um, a cool um, major minor triads moving, moving up with a uh, bottom... Um, a note on the on the open fifth string and that's a very cool melodic riff and I'm going to play for you check this out <laughs> So let me show you what this example has going on. You have different two note shapes that are based on thirds that are moving up and down the fourth and third string while you have a steady rhythm on the open A string. So you have a lot of melody in there that once again is moving against a steady background which is very uh, similar to the way classical music is composed. Um, hence very melodic for us when we play metal this way. And um, we have right here, we have this B minor third a kind of like a standard sounding uh, thing that we used to hearing but it always sounds so good right we go from a B minor third to A minor third to a G major and you remember you have all these so you almost have like a like a harmony happening there all the time Okay, so right here you have an F major sound to a G major sound. That answers the beginning. And I finish this riff by playing a power, uh, a fourth based uh, chord, which is a C. That leads into me arpeggiating F power chord with the octave into a G power chord with an octave. So it goes through. So I've just played three notes on the, uh, on the F and a full four notes on the G. Right, and I repeat the whole area again I'll play it for you again, and then I will play you how it ends. So right now, I just basically go from a C, C chord to a G, and I finish it off with... which is very uh, heavy metal standard uh, ending. Which is on strings three and four. 
and that leads us nicely back to B. Okay, so for the last example, I am going to show you another kick-ass riff that is reminiscent of something Mr. George Lynch could play. Maybe has a little bit of Queen Drake's Operation My Crime in it. Not, a, not exact songs by any chance, but just the way of approaching of playing riffs and the way the rhythm feels, okay? So it's hard to explain, but I'll let you check this out right now. Check it out. <laughs> This is in the key of A, and you have several chords that are on strings four and three, and the riff starts with a power chord between C and B, so you have that. So it's, it's slightly heavy, slightly aggressive, but it moves you into a very cool melodic thing right now. See right there, I play an F power chord into well, I don't know, I guess like an F sharp flat five, but I really think of it, to be honest, as a George Lynch chord, because he, right, he put a killer trademark on that kind of playing, and this is what I think of for me. The riff goes back to the C to B. Another very interesting movement right here, one of my favorites, is that you have a D power chord into basically like a, a major interval right there. And I include this A note right there, so when I go... And when you play this last final uh, part, don't be afraid to let the notes A right here, C sharp, and A again ring out. Right? It's gonna sound good and it's also got a nice dense melodic sound. I go back to the first part of the riff again. And I fi finish it off with a Ozzy like A to C to D uh, uh, fourth power chord. But I, this is, this is the cool thing. I proceed to play those chords with a pulled off note on the A, not to sound so standard. Right, so it has a nice bounce. So I play A, B to the open A string, single notes to a C power chord in fourth. Then I play the A, D, note to an open A string. Just gives your riff a bounce and a little bit of an EQ. So that's the riff. Hope you like the column when guitar riffs ruled the world.